for me, my, my fundamental, uh, uh, if I had to say, if someone said, what, what, what have you found that you really believe? It's this. The word musician is too often used to discourage people from participating in their birthright as sound makers. My, my mom likes to say, singing changes everything. You know, and I don't have to prove that to any of you. But you do to people who don't think of themselves as singers. Yeah. So, I fell in love uh, with things like this. People sometimes refer to music as the universal language. And I don't think that's entirely accurate, but I think it's an attempt at accuracy. I think that when people who spend a lot of time making sounds and organizing sounds get together, even if they're from different cultures, they find there are things that delight one another in the same way. That being said, finding a way to combine sounds is still a challenge. I use simple materials to make my musical instruments for two reasons. One, they're readily available. And two, they're less daunting to the uninitiated. When you hand somebody a tube and tell them it's a beautiful musical instrument, and if they spin it over their heads, they'll hear a beautiful sound, they're going to do it because there's nothing intimidating about it. If you hand somebody a Stradivari violin, the intimidation factor is going to be much greater. With this kind of exchange, one can't help but be altered. You, you get so much new information. This is really, a, at a local level, uh, the equivalent of one of the old world's fairs, an expo. And of course, today, people talk about how much less remarkable they are because of the internet and because of all this the speed at which information is passed. But there's no substitute for meeting someone, having a conversation with someone, for playing music with someone, for composing with someone, creating. Without question, all these fellows go back changed in a fundamental way and um, excited about those changes. We had a visit from high school students. We played this clapping game in separate groups and then the winners of each group came together and the final two, the, you know, the, the face-off, the standoff, whatever you call it, was between one of the fellows and actually one of the high schoolers. I was very sad that the fellow won. <laughs> I really wanted the other guy to win. My group uh, was in charge of the street studio, where basically we had them come in and you know record little snippets, and then we start adding layers of that, and everything is being recorded and looped in real time. You know, we did the street studio, and they were just so into it, you know, and they just wanted to record and create stuff. And every time you know we'd finish, they'd be, oh, let's make another one. I showed them also how to like uh, sample their own voices. So you know, like I had them like say a sentence. Uh, I woke up this morning, and then they can go like ah 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 what 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 mo 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 mo. Yeah. 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 Yeah.